Hey there. Uh, for those of you who I haven't met, my name is Jess. Uh, I am a painter. I'm a maker. I'm a mother of four. I'm principal of an amazing art school on the Sunshine Coast. Um, I am particularly flawed human being, like all of us. <laughs> and I, um, what can I tell you? Uh, three years ago, I had a traumatic brain injury and an aneurysm um, bleed that was catastrophic. Uh, and I have fully recovered from two brain surgeries and kicking on. But I've learned a lot in that time. So hopefully that little introduction gives us a little bit of a moment so that I can say some things to you as, a, as an artist, I guess, as a creative. You know, something I've been thinking about lot lately is why is it so important to me to make? Like, when you actually look at life and it's tiny little moment, the breath that we have in life, why do I choose to show up to painting? In five minutes, I'll be up in the studio painting. Why is that important to me? And I'm going to use a different maker as a way for you to understand what and why I think it's so important that we all create. Imagine I'm a woodworker and making out of wood is so important to me because when I go and look at this lump of wood, I have to be fully present in that moment in order to turn it into anything. I can't be in tomorrow, I can't be in my stress, I have to focus all my energy in on that creation. If I do that, it is an amazing kindness to myself. It relieves so much stress. It makes me wake up to what is inside of me. It makes me pay attention to my inner world. It, creating is a great way for us to know ourselves and to enjoy being alive and to feel a kindness and a love for ourselves. That's how I see creativity. It makes me present. So that woodworker shows up to this lump of wood and they they craft it into something and to make it symmetrical and to make it weighted and to think about how it will be used creates a presence, right? The goal of that creativity is one, a kindness to ourselves, but two, creativity then says, I hope that this thing I'm doing for me becomes a kindness for you. So I hope that this thing that I made, it, it can create presence for you. It can create beauty for you. So then this little thing I created, hopefully, then reminds you that beauty exists and that other people are in this life journey with you and we all need to make in our own ways to create hope for one another. If creativity is a deep kindness to ourselves and to others, then we all have to show up to that creativity in totally different ways. We say, I choose to make, not to take. I choose to think of ways to contribute to my own health and that that will then extend to a kindness to others that will create hope for them. I know it's deep, but I actually think that's what we're all trying to do. I think we're all trying our best to be kind to one another and ourselves. When we see it that way, it is so much easier to, to love and accept other people in the mess that they're making because we know deep down they are trying to, to be kind to themselves and to others. They may not know how, but when we see people like that, it creates a beautiful empathy and kindness for them as well and maybe that might help and bring us all forward in the way that we look after each other. So create. Whichever way you choose to create, create and be present and that presence will stretch out to others. Nice hanging out. See ya.